Okay, we're going to talk about a certain kind of transformation called a translation. And transformations are different ways we can change how mathematical shapes look. So there's all kinds of things I can do to the math ceratops here. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. These are all transformations. The translation is specifically just moving the shape up and down or left and right or some kind of combination maybe up and to the right okay so it's not stretching it like that it's not rotating it like that it's simply just shifting it so that all the points in the object move together okay this right here, that was a rotation. This right here is not a translation because these points in his feet just stay there. Well, these points up here in the back, they move a ton. Okay, but every point has to move the same distance in the same direction. All right, well, I'm going to let Masteratops go. He can just go play outside or something. While we look more closely at this triangle to get the concept of a translation. Okay, I'm going to look at three different points on this triangle. Point one, point two, and point three. And let's write down where each of those points is located. I already did that here. So this is at x is one, y is one, one, one. Point two is at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And point three is at seven. One. All right. Now let's translate this guy. Maybe something like. Uh, let's do something like that. So where did point one go? Shifted up. Point two. Boom. Point three. What are the new locations here? Let me put some arrows. No, forget the arrows. That was a dumb idea. It's kind of beating a dead horse. You get the idea. One went from here to here. Okay, so let's look at the new coordinates of the points. Okay, so now one is located at 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So 2, 3. And where did 2 go? Two is now at one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, seven, and three is now at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, eight, three. So let's see what happened to each one of these points. Okay, so here in point one, X went X went from 1 to 2. So it shifted over 1. Point 2 went from 4 to 5. So shifted over also 1. Point 3 went from 7 to 8. Shifted over 1. So all the X coordinates of all the points moved 1 to the right. So that's good. We want all of the points to move in the same way in the same direction. Okay? Let's look at the Y coordinates. Point one, the y coordinate went from one to three, so it increased by two. And point two went from five to seven, so it increased by two as well. And point three went from one to three, increased by two. So all the x's increased by one, all the y's increased by two. So that way we know that all the points moved in the same direction, the same. So if I want to tell my math buddies what happened here, and I don't want to show all these pictures, I could write it in notation like this. I could say, take all your x's and your y's, pretend like that's an arrow, shift the x's by one, and the y's, shift them up by two, like that. 